Here in Southern California, we have heard a whole lot about Albert Pujols' slow start. There has been speculation that it's his mechanics, or that it's mental he's pressing or trying too hard. We've even heard that it's due to switching the leagues. But on the screen, I think we have an example here of how a single mechanical flaw can disrupt even the best hitter's swing. On the left, we have a recent video of Albert Pujols' swing, and on the right, we have one of his swings from his all-star performances. As I move the video forward and backward, we can see that his timing and movements are virtually the same. And at this point, at toe touch, or his ready position, we can see two small but very important differences. The first is that his hands are outside the front elbow. And on the right hand side, we can see that his hands are even or inside the front elbow. The other difference is the bat angles. You can see that one is a little bit flatter than the other. And we can see that on the right hand side, if we step it forward, that his hands will remain even or inside that front elbow for about four or five clicks, or about a third of his swing. Both of these differences are very important because it sets the path of the bat through the strike zone and gives you the ability to adjust from inside to outside. On the clip on the left, you can see that the hands are outside and it's very difficult for our bodies to adjust from the outside to in and very easy for us to adjust from the inside to the out. If your hands are outside the front elbow when you start your swing, you can see that there is only one place for that front elbow to go, and that is across the front of the body. And now you can see the hands moving across the plane of the body, and ultimately the bat swings across the plane of the pitch. So Albert has a very small window to hit the ball on the sweet spot of the bat. On the clip on the right, you can see that his hands start inside the front elbow, and they're going to stay there for one, two, three, four, five clicks. This is the real definition of staying inside the ball because all the way up to this point he has retained the ability to adjust from the inside to the outside pitch or anything in this strike zone. If we look at the same point here on the left hand side we can see that the path of the bat has already been set and he will need to have perfect timing to make solid contact. Again, if we go back to the toe touch ready position over here on the right hand side, we can see that at this point he can hit just about anything in this box. And if the pitch was inside, he would hold on to these angles in his arms and his bat and continue his swing until he made contact. In this example, though, it's an outside pitch, so we will see him start to release the angles in his arms and then release the angle in the bat to hit the ball on the sweet spot of the bat. This is a very easy concept to prove to yourself. Put your hands together like you were holding the bat and get into a position where you can start your swing, keeping your hands further out away from your body than your front elbow. Now when you start your swing, pay attention to the path of the front elbow and then the hands, and you will see that the sweet spot will be swinging across the plane of the pitch. But if you keep your hand even or inside your elbow as you start your swing, you will retain the ability to adjust from the inside pitch to the outside pitch. The concept is that once the hands get outside the elbow, you are virtually locked into one speed in one location. If your hands stay even or inside that front elbow for the first third of your swing, you will retain the ability to adjust from that inside pitch to the outside pitch much further into the swing. Albert will figure this out, and it can change overnight because he has done it in the past, and that muscle memory is still there. We all get out of whack from time to time, and that is why video analysis has become such an important part over the last few years. If you'd like to learn more, visit our website at www.rightviewpro.com.